Did Sister Wives star Robin Brown purposefully drive the other children away from her own kids? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. After the latest episode, that's certainly what many Southwest fans are suggesting online. This week, Robin's daughters Aurora and Brianna made a rare appearance in the confessionals. The girls discussed how the family drama personally impacted them, resulting in Brianna breaking down in tears. The girls admitted they felt like their siblings didn't like them and didn't want them around after the Christmas debacle. After watching the entire episode, plenty of viewers couldn't help but think Robin definitely meddled in the gift exchange situation. See what some fans have to say online. After the last Sister Wives episode, Redditors feel certain Robin Brown has a hidden agenda. Hearing from Aurora and Brianna in the episode seemed to confirm their suspicions. Robin is alienating her kids from the rest of the Brown children, a Redditor titled their post on the platform. I think the real reason that Robin jumped in to tank the children's gift exchange is because she fears her children having real, lasting relationships with the other Brown kids independent of her. The user went on to say that they believe Robin controls her children's relationships in a similar way that she controls Cody's. Look at Brianna's reaction on camera to Aurora, admitting she gives Gabe a hug whenever she sees him in school. Brianna looks scandalized while Aurora looks caught. Those kids are being heavily controlled. They concluded. Many Sister Wives fans readily agreed with the OP. After last night's episode, there seemed to be plenty of evidence that Robin Brown controls the narrative here. You learn a lot about the world from your siblings. They know you, your life, your history, your personality, and your parents. They can sit down with you and share opinions. Man, isn't dad being a asterisk asterisk hole right now? Or your mom cries too much? Another Redditor shared. So if Robin and Cody want to control their kids, it absolutely makes sense that the first relationship they ruin is with the siblings. Remember when she sat them down and explained that their siblings chose not to spend Thanksgiving with them? She made it seem like it was simply a matter of not wanting to be around them. No context. Someone else added. Many Sister Wives viewers felt that Sunday night's episode revealed quite a bit about the family. Hearing from the children, including Gwendolyn, Gabe, and Garrison, really seemed to highlight the division among the Browns. If Robin did intentionally manipulate the situation and alienate her own children, it likely wouldn't be the first time she behaved in such a way. After last night's episode, many viewers strongly believe that Robin exploited Mike Kelty and used her to push the agenda too. Catch new episodes of Sister Wives on TLC at 10 p.m. Eastern Time each Sunday night. Follow TV shows Ace to stay informed and see what happens next with the Brown family. Gwendolyn Brown of TLC's Sister Wives was noticeably absent from her mother Christine's wedding to David Woolley. Her absence has caused a lot of chatter among fans of the TLC franchise. Did Gwendolyn have some sort of issue with David Woolley? Did her father Cody ask her not to go to the wedding? Or was she or her wife unwell? Moreover, there have been some rumors flying she had some sort of beef with both her mother and TLC fortunately for those asking. The real reason Gwendolyn Brown did not attend her mother Christine's wedding to David Woolley has been revealed. Keep reading for the details. Despite only making rare appearances on the TLC series, Gwendolyn Brown is fairly active on social media. Between Patreon, YouTube, and Instagram, Fans are able to get all sorts of updates on where she is or how she is doing. For this reason, it isn't too much of a surprise that Gwendolyn was pretty forthcoming with why she missed out on her mother's special day. Turns out, the topic of conversation came up in a Reddit dedicated to TLC's sister wives. One fan noted that others could feel free to correct them before explaining why Gwendolyn wasn't at the wedding. One fan noted that Gwendolyn has pretty openly told Sister Wives fans she was currently overwhelmed with finals at school. Likewise, she was currently settling into a new place with her new wife. 
The fan continued to note that they believed Gwendolyn actually told her mother she would not be able to attend the wedding because she was overwhelmed and busy. This fan suspected Christine was likely sad, but understood the situation. When Lynn was just unable to pause her life for her mother. Now, the chatter on the Reddit thread suggests that Mike Kelty was not very happy with Gwendolyn not going to the wedding. In fact, it also sounds as if Mike Kelty tried to write her sister off as a no-show at her mother's wedding. Fans, however, did not believe Gwendolyn was a no-show. They believe Gwendolyn talked to her mother beforehand and explained her situation. Fans argue a no-show is someone who RSVPs to a wedding and then doesn't show up. Gwen Lin reportedly never gave her mother false hope she would attend. Other fans chimed in to note that if they had to choose between believing Gwen Lin or Michael T, they would always pick Gwen Lin. Overall, fans had no reason to believe Gwen Lin had beef with David Woolley marrying her mother. Likewise, Fans aren't buying many of the other rumors swirling with claims as to why she missed her mom's special day. Did you think it was strange Gwendolyn Brown did not attend Christine's wedding? Do you think Christine was hurt that her daughter wasn't there? Share your thoughts in the comments. And keep coming back for more news and updates on Sister Wives. Sister Wives star Aspen Brown has kept a private life amid her family's TV fame. However, she often appears at family gatherings especially weddings and birthdays. Her husband, Mitchell Thompson, has been active on social media and keeps fans in touch about their lives. A lot of things have happened to the married couple amid the complicated status of the Brown family. Keep reading to see what they're up to today. One of Aspen and Mitchell's latest appearances this year was at Christine and David Woolley's wedding. The two stunned many Sister Wives fans with their attire. Some pointed out that they radiate happiness and are glowing, while others couldn't help but notice Mitch's weight loss. The married couple has also gone on several trips over the past few months. In March, the two flew to Paris. They also joined Christine and David's trip to London in July, along with the other Brown kids. Aspen Brown is presently a store manager at Kendra Scott. The last fight he won and shared on social media was in June 2022. Aspen and Mitchell have yet to welcome a child. Christine mentioned in 2020 that they're in a three-year plan before planning to have a child. Some Sister Wives fans are curious if they'll consider starting a family this year. Regardless, it's clear that they've been living happily despite having no children. On December 24, 2022, the husband and wife bought their first home. They have yet to share a tour of their home in Midvale, Utah which is a 20-minute drive from Christine and David's property in Lehi. Sister Wives' new season premiered on Sunday 20 on TLC. Mary Brown revisited the catfishing incident during the show and brought in another victim to speak to Cody Brown and her sister wives about it. Mary felt this could bring some awareness and understanding about the 2015 incident. However, she got a rare bashing on social media for her efforts. Many fans of the show feel the whole thing's growing old and she should move on from it. Fans of the show generally enjoy Mary, and for many of them, she's a fan favorite. On her Instagram, since the last season, she's been upbeat, looks great, and generally seems happier than she was. For Sister Wives fans who follow her, her miserable demeanor in the current season's a bit of a letdown. More than that, the revisitation to the 2015 catfishing incident brought irritated reactions. Unfortunately, many of them were of the bashing variety. Some fans do feel that Kobe Brown let Mary down over the request that she divorce him so he could marry Robin and adopt her children. Fans of Sister Wives even accept that this could be at the root of Mary actually becoming involved with Sam Cooper, who turned out to be a woman. They admired her bravery in telling the Brown family about it. But they seem angry that TLC and Mary simply won't let it all go. Mary rarely gets bashed by fans, but this premiere of Sister Wives saw her getting defensive on Twitter. She posted up about it, saying, You can bash me all you want, but bringing awareness about catfishing is what this is all about. Stay aware, people. Some fan reactions to that included, 
The negative reactions to Mary came after TLC showed Mary bring in her friend Christy. Actually, Christy became a victim of the same imposter in 2014. She explained to the other wives and Cody how the character was so convincing online, and she was vulnerable and lonely at the time. Mary wondered why the catfisher did what she did, asking, It's like, what is the motivation? Why does she do this? I mean, is she just evil? Is she lonely? I don't know. Fans also ask questions, like why Mary does not just move on from it all as it happened so long ago, and everyone's over it.